Welcome to Modern Musings, conversations with the maiden, mother, and crone, looking at ourselves and the world through the lens of the 21st century. Hello, and welcome back. I'm your hostess, Kristen, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Amber and Cindy. Hello. Hello. And we are just freshly off of a trip. You know, we like to take our little summer trip together. And um, we really didn't get, like, a lot of time this summer to get away. But we managed to squeeze out a little uh, RV camping trip. Now, last time on the podcast, we talked about um, this podcast being about outdoor games. And I thought we would probably get to play some of those outdoor games on our camping trip. And as we were packing up the RV, it was so hot outside. And I was just like, don't bring them. We're not going to play them. <laughs> I knew we wouldn't. Oh, no. I'm glad you didn't pack them because it was so hot. It was and hot. And there was not it enough room. So and you know, rousing. somebody told me the other day that this is the hottest summer you have ever faced in your entire life. Every summer. It is that and way, yeah. And it is the coolest summer you will experience for the rest of your life. I know. Isn't that depressing? It is depressing. Yeah. Anyways, so we were probably going to talk about, like, hey, you like horseshoes or do you like, um, you know, croquet or giant Jenga or uh, volleyball? What, what's that one with the – what is that called? Spot Stupid ball? one with the – Bean Big bags, beanbags, yeah. yeah. People call it cornhole. Yeah. Oh, like, can you call it toss. like beanbag toss and say, I don't like it. I don't like cornhole. It sounds I weird. Don't either. It's very it's like corny. It's yeah. your bunghole. I don't know. That's, a, that's <laughs> like a... Kristen, keep the, it clean. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the game my family in law plays. Yeah, it's cornhole. fun. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean... Washers. It's, oh. it's hot outside. You got to get those things set up oh, in yeah. the yard. So there's my quip on... On outdoor games. Yeah, we named them. Not a fan. There we go. Not a fan. (laughs) Oh, I like them. I mean, I'll play them. I I just don't want to be the one to clean them up because you can't leave them out in the yard, you know? Yeah, 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 that's true. So, anyways. Go to somebody else's house and play outdoor games. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. So, we went on a a RV trip. So, I mean, it's mostly mom's story. She was really the one that was like, I want to go on an RV. Because we hadn't gone camping in a while. And... Uh, typically we go camping like in October or April and we were hoping in April to go on like a girls camp out, but it didn't happen. It just didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. And so mom was like, you know, let's see if we could just go in an RV because I wanted to try that out and she was wanting to explore and we were thinking about going to like Padre um, but that's kind of like a long drive, so we and didn't have enough. We time. didn't have enough we days just had off. Like two so. days that we could do it in. Yeah, right. and mom is wanting to explore uh, more of the state parks because she's trying to hit up all the state parks in Texas. How many are there? Oh, there's like over a hundred. Yeah, uh, I so can't many. even tell you. Yeah. So we picked one that was kind of in the general area where we were wanting to do some sightseeing, and um, it was fun. I had fun, um, but we thought, you know what? Let's share our experience yeah. with RV because we rented I, an RV. That mm. that was the it, way easier than I thought it was going to be, um, uh, and and not as expensive as I thought. Everybody said, "Oh, that's going to be so expensive." Yeah, no, it wasn't that expensive. It wasn't that expensive. It was a lot cheaper than getting a hotel room. Yeah, for sure. In that in that area. Um, uh, I want to say we used Cruise America, uh, and I just did an online thing and looked at uh, the different kinds of RVs they had, and I chose a smaller one because I'd never driven a Class C RV before. So this is the uh, the the type of RV is is the kind that's like on a a van type yeah base. like a big van uh, well it's bigger than a van so it's like they've taken the chassis from a big van and then put a big box on it so uh, <laughs> it's kind of like driving a big u-haul that has like an apartment oh in yeah it. That, that's a good example yeah, it, like, it's really like, like a u-haul driving a u-haul and uh, i i had never even driven a u-haul before so but i did really? used to have a big no i have it um but i did have a big um extended length conversion van back in the day 
And so I kind of was used to driving long, big things like that. So, um, but I got the, the shorter of the two. So we got a 25 foot trailer or not trailer, 25 foot camper. And, um, and it was just on a Ford chassis, you know, just like driving a Ford van, uh, except it was big and boxy and wobbled all over the road. <laughs> um, but it, it w- wasn't as hard to drive as I thought it was going to be. You just kind of have to make big wide turns and, you know, it doesn't speed up as fast and, and it's kind of subject to bumps and wind and stuff like that. But I was, I was glad to do that. The rental process was really easy. Like I said, I went to Cruise America. Um, their website tells you all about the different kinds of vans and they are the different kinds of campers that you can rent. They have trailers you could rent and, and class C's, class A's, all, all the different kinds. And, um, you know, I, we rented one and, um, I rented it for the day before we left and for the day after we got back because we were Mm -hmm. traveling on a weekend and the, uh, and we knew we'd be coming in late and we wouldn't want to have to unload it and turn it in the same day we got back. So I paid for two extra days. Uh, in retrospect, there's some different things I could have done, uh, some people talk about driving down to the location where they want to camp and renting the RV there mm-hmm. so that you don't have to pay for mileage on the RV. Yeah, that mileage adds up. The, the mileage adds up. It's not that high, though. Um, we had about 700 miles on ours, and they charge about, I want to say it was like 40 cents a mile. So it's not that bad, but you got to pay for gas, too, so... Um, and the, the tanks on those things are huge. It cost me about a hundred dollars Yeah. every time I filled up, uh, and I had to fill up three times. So, um, but it wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. Um, uh, I was very nervous about things like the propane, the generator, plugging into the electricity, plugging into the water, draining the septic tank. Um, all those things, they actually turned out to be a lot easier, uh, than I thought they were going to be the, we had a little bit of difficulty with the sewage thing because we couldn't get the cap off. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, had we had to, to flag we had to, somebody, <laughs> we had to flag somebody down to help because we just didn't have the strength to turn this giant, uh, cap. But other than that, uh. You know, it, it, it went pretty easily and we actually, uh, had the option and we took them up on the option of paying to have the sewage dumped, uh, for us. Uh, but, but that was goodness. one of our thorns. My, one of our thorns was, uh, my niece decided to take some showers and she filled up the black water or the gray water tank. Mm-hmm. She filled up the gray water tank. And so we had to dump the gray water. The black water was not full because we did not fill up the toilet very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but but she took showers and it filled up the gray water tank. So filled it to the point where it started coming I literally, up out of the shower. We made coffee <laughs> and then I had put yesterday, like the previous day's coffee in my thermos. And then we didn't drink all of it. So I poured it down the sink and then we heard gluck, 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 gluck. And it was in the shower. <laughs> yeah, so like it, that quick, just from her her two showers that on on those two days. Uh huh. So um, lesson learned. Yeah, no. I, and the sad thing was is that we were parked right next to the camp showers. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, and, but she was like, "When in Rome, I want to try it out." So I didn't blame her. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. But still, it's like, wow, that didn't hold very much. There was literally five yeah. of us. Well, and you know, in retrospect, we could have gotten. Uh, if the camp had sewer hookups, we could have done a sewer hookup camp. We got the last campsite in that park, and it just happened to have water and electric only. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we were right next to the to the bathrooms. So, yeah, did she have to take a shower in the camper? No, but um, now we know. You know, it. She tried it out. It worked. 
Yeah, sort and of. I think you're supposed to really say anything about don't take too many showers. You know? Well, no. I didn't think it would fill up that fast. Uh, yeah. I really didn't. I but think that like in an RV when you shower, you're supposed to like get wet, turn the water off, yeah. lather up, scrub right. yourself down, and then turn the water back on to rinse off. Like, right, right. And not just run water into the tank. Exactly. Right. right. And, and, you know, this, these are all learning things for us because, you know, none of us have ever RV camped before. So that yeah, was, never that was an been experience. in an RV before. Um, the, the other things I, uh, the RV did not stay particularly cool it, while we're driving down the road. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. It was hot. so The front. Right the, back. the back of the it was The so front was hot. like Ashley and I rode in the front mm-hmm. and we were freezing and we even had the vents pointed to the back, but it was hot in the back. So, um, so bring a portable fan that runs yeah. on batteries. That kind of yeah. saved my life. Was putting Just a little that. tiny fan in front of my face. Mm-hmm. Well, and it probably would have helped if we'd have had some kind of fan, like maybe in front of the air vents, just to circulate the air. They actually the air. make these like hose things so that mother driver parents whatever can put like the air conditioning in the back seat for their right, infants right because a lot of back seat cars don't don't have, have air, conditioning. air conditioning yeah and it's like a, a hose that you hook on to one of the vents so it's it right adds air to the back that i was thinking man one of those would have been so nice because right. ashley didn't want her vent on but but you can't turn it off of you yeah so she's like all bundled up and i was like man if we could have just siphoned that to the you back, know, to yeah. To the back would have been fine. Yeah. Um. What other kinds of th- I? You know, like I said, it was I. I thought it was an enjoyable experience. Mm-hmm. I. I did feel like that particular camper was a little bit small for four adults. So. Um, four adults, a child, and two dogs. Yes. We so, can fit a lot of so people and things. It, and, this was a this was an RV that was meant to hold stuff. five yeah. people, but. It, it doesn't specify five people, five adults, five kids, whatever. Mm-hmm. And and it had a bed in the back, which is like a, they say it's a full-size bed. I question that. Bed that bed had room. Oh, did yeah. it? Yeah. Perfectly Kristen comfortable and I laying were, with Amber. And okay. We're yeah, like, both plus size. Yeah, yeah we're so. both plus size and we, we weren't both touching. slept perfectly. Yeah. Okay. We, we didn't touch but either. But. Uh, the bed I was on was the where the dinette turns into a bed, and I fully expected that for a vehicle that accommodates five people to, to be, be a, a full, long, another full side bed and to be full length. But it wasn't. It was shorter. I, I in fact, when I was laying in bed, my feet touched the other end, and I'm five foot three. Yeah. So it was a very short bed. And it was not a, a full size width either. It was mm-hmm. a little bit larger than a twin. Um, or no, well, no, I think it was a twin size it because was, I had twin. The width was twin. The width yeah, was the twin because I had a twin not. sheet on it, but the length was not. And then the overhead, the one you have to climb up that was into, way bigger than I expected. That was yeah, that was, that was a, a queen size bed. But what adult wants to climb up into? the loft yeah because well, there's not even a ladder ashley there huh <laughs> right. we kind of made ashley so well no, we did make ashley cheers. and i kind of feel bad about that because now she has like some achiness and stuff you know yeah she's complained about that it was probably good for her but um but at the same time it, it was kind of asking a lot Mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't think any of the rest of us could have climbed up there either. I mean, I, I I mean, I probably could have, it just, I just been like bad getting down. Right. Yeah. Well, I just fully expected the down beds to be the adult beds and the up bed to be the child bed. Really, I did, I, and they didn't mm-hmm. provide like a little ladder or a no. step or anything. No, they, like they, there's you know, a, a padding on that, the back of the seat. You stand on the back on the of seat. your bed. Yes. So every time one of them wanted down, they had to climb on top on of on top you. of me, and I had to move my pillows and, and, you and everything. Probably yeah. should have had you not had your CPAP. And I could have turned it on the other way. Side, you should have turned yeah. the other way, and right. then they could have just. But I had their to have my work. CPAP on that side, so yeah, that was the way like I had it on to that have side, it. Yeah. So, um, so that was a kind of a drawback. The bit I think uh, in the future, if there's this many of us, I would get the bigger 
um, the bigger the one RV. Oh, four that was longer. such a fake out because when we went it's, to yeah, it's five rent inches the longer, but RV, they gave us a tour of the big RV. The 30-foot RV, yeah. And we thought that that was going to be our RV. And, and it was really like, comfy oh, and big. Oh, there's plenty yeah. of room. You know, nobody has to really share. Well, I mean, you still share a bed, but like uh, there were two fold out beds yes. and everything and then yes. like a top bed and a back like bedroom big right? bedroom yes. yeah and yes. i was like oh there's so much room it's yeah. gonna be and then, and then we were about to drive away uh, <laughs> and he comes out and he goes and oh, he, he no. showed us like how to work that one he didn't oh, yeah. show us how to work the small one <laughs> and it was different it was different yeah so uh, yeah that was a little bit of a drawback but you know Oh, I, I think. I, oh, and the key was the key was malfunctioning, and and actually it wasn't the key. When I got there to turn it back in, he he also saw that the the whole plate, the whole door plate where the handle oh, was geez. was moving, and and the guy the mecha- he brought the mechanic over to look at it. He goes, "Oh yeah, it does that." Da, da, da. And he's like, "Uh, they're not going to be able to do that out in the field, you know." So, um, so he told him to go fix that, you know, or whatever. But, um, but it, I was glad it did it for him as well. Right. Um, anyway, so, so we had problems with the key, not unlocking and locking the door. And, um, because it's a different key that unlocks the camper door. That was kind of annoying. So there was, was an ignition key, there was a camper door key, and then there was a key for all of the outside yeah, one component for all yeah. of the there little were doors lots outside. Of keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three three keys. There was total. a lot of storage in the RV though. I I did like that, especially mm-hmm. in the back, but it was really super oh. hot. So the storage though was a problem because we had a lot of food because there were so many of us and there was adults right. and we had dogs and we wanted a lot of variety and snacks and stuff and the fridge stayed really cold yeah though. that the fridge was very actually was colder surprising. than we expected but and the freezer kept ice which was really yeah. nice we had put food over the dinette yes and then we put food in the kitchen area over the over the sink yes, yes. and or- then um it all was too hot because because the back yeah. of the camper did not yeah. get cool enough. So we yeah. probably, in retrospect, we probably should have put the pans and stuff up there and put the yeah. food down low so that it would stay cooler. Yeah, or leave the leave the food packed up differently or something like in the coolers or something. I don't know, but yeah. it was that. The camper was super hot, and or so, buy groceries there. Yes, yes. There is and that, that was well. actually one of the things that I had read was that you go to your destination and, and then you, you buy, buy your groceries. groceries. Yeah, um, if you're going on a trip, that way your fridge gets cold, you know, ahead of right. time, and um, you have then you kind of know like how much space you have. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's stuff. true. Because you guys bought the groceries like a few days before, and it was like a yeah. giant tub and a giant cooler and some bags of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Amber brought snacks, and Ashley had snacks. And then, yeah, we all well, had I mean, snacks. Road yeah. trip. I mean, like I know, the, right? The snacks yeah. were fine, but like um, well, like I the think, tomatoes like, we, got the super fresh hot. Food, the fresh, the fresh food. Yeah. The got tomatoes yeah. got really hot. We were tripping over the uh, coolers as well. So yeah. like maybe next time buy the cold stuff that would go in the cooler and the fridge and stuff when we get there and just have like that one little drink cooler. The real yeah. one drink cooler. That was yeah. actually one of my um so we talk about roses, buds and thorns, right? So the buds for me was the food. We had excellent food, but in the camper and like camping kind of sense, like I feel like in a camper you want to do like one pot meals. And make it or and... mostly things that are like in cans, like dump soups, or right, you know, yeah, because we were having problems you know, with the fire and, and everything like that. Versus so. like this, you know, ornate meal that we had. Planned. Well, it, I a lot of that though, I think, was because we were trying to accommodate so many different people's different diets. Yeah, so and have fresh food yeah. and have fresh food. And I so. think that it was the fresh food that got us in a lot of trouble because it was like because well, we normally I would pick a lot of fresh food. chili or mm-hmm. or a dump soup or something like that. But you, those were not 
possibilities. Chopping up a pineapple, a fresh pineapple in an RV was not that easy. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was doable, but my cutting board was really small, and the counter space. Well, was and see, really if we had bought the groceries there, we could yeah. have bought an already chopped up pineapple. Pineapple, right. yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. So, yeah, those were things that I would consider next time. Simpler meals, which is funny because when you think about, oh, you have an RV, you can have more intricate meals versus campfire because you have a kitchen, but the kitchen is so small. And you don't really want to sit in the, you don't want to heat it up cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. 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 You well, really like, don't. Uh, all you had was burners and a microwave right there's no oven oh yeah and yeah. you and ashley were in there making the bacon for our like chicken and the yeah. smoke alarm was going off and right. i was like because oh my god forgot to turn the vent fan on yes yeah. and then the, the camper smelled like bacon the whole weekend <laughs> you know yeah yeah so yeah um I will say also with that air conditioner, like once you get parked, the <gasps> RV air conditioner. Yeah. Oh, man. We could not regulate it. It was like either freezing cold. Or burning hot. Or burning hot. So, um, because it, it would, you'd be really hot and you'd have it going on the generator, or, you know, on the, elect we were on the electricity. Well, we had, when it cooled down, yeah, at night especially, it got really cold. Really cold. And yes. I only brought a very light blanket and a sheet, you know, and uh, and I was freezing. I yeah. wound up having to get my towels oh. out of my gear and, and cover up with my towels to have an extra blanket. Because we were just too, like, tired to turn the air conditioner off. No, I off. did turn the air conditioner oh, okay. down. I turned it down, and I was still cold. So. Yeah, because that first morning, I kept waking up, like, every hour because my feet were so cold. Yeah. But I was in the back corner of the bed because the way the bed was... There was just like this little opening and you just kind of had to crawl into the bed instead of like walk <laughs> yeah. around to your side right, of the bed. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And so, like and I was in the corner, which didn't bother wiggle, me, but, me into the but bed. I was like, I don't want to disrupt Amber, you know. Right. And uh, so my next time I would take newer sheets. We used mom's old like camping sheets and the elastic had worn out. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. Yeah, because it would, that not, on it the would bed. not stay on the mattress. And how do you make a mattress that's in a cubby? I know. Those, that's... It was really hard. Amber worked at it for like 30 minutes trying to I get know, the sheet. I know. I tried. On and the every bed. time I would get it on and I would wiggle towards the end of the bed, it'd all pop out. Oh, and then no. I'd have to get wiggle back up into the bed and put it on. And then I'd wiggle out and it'd yeah. pop out. And like finally, Kristen comes in. She's like, Well, I put my pajamas on it. I'm going to put this on and stay in the bed. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I'll just lay on it so it doesn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> and our match, our sheet stayed actually on the mattress. Once we got it on. At the Ugh. head, but it kept coming off at the foot. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, that's because the corner was cut on that yeah, mattress. It yeah. was like and it, it kept the corner. coming off. And, which is dumb, too, because it's like, uh, well, so I guess that's for the, the short walkway. person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I also didn't like that the sink, sink the kitchen like sink was right, right at the foot of the of the bed mm -hmm. so if somebody got really splashy with washing dishes or something like that you're you risk getting water on the, on bed. the bed or so, food or yeah. food or whatever so yeah i did i wasn't really crazy about that either. my dog loved that though she sat on the edge of the mattress while i cooked and just watched and watched <laughs> it and was hilarious she was just so enthralled you need to post that picture on she, the yes on the she loves <laughs> Like, she hears the chopping block, and she comes running every night because she loves the vegetable scraps. And just her watching me, like, I was cutting up a sweet potato, and she was just watching me like, so that's what you're doing, you know? And then I get to, like, give her a little bite of sweet potatoes while I was cutting it up. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. What other... Um... Uh, oh, I, I, I'd I like to report that there are seat belts in the RV for the passengers in the back yep. seats. I And and there are actually hookups for um, car seats. I did see that as well for, for infant car seats and stuff. You can, you can pull the um, 
cushions out of the way and there's places to hook the car seats. Oh my gosh, in. could you imagine staying in a camper with an infant Ugh. changing diapers? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. People do it though, yeah. Yeah. Um but we I I really liked it. It was it was not too hard to drive. It was not too hard to operate. Um it wound up not being that expensive. Um I mean, all told, we 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 spent less money than if we'd have gone to a hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, I mean, you know, including gas and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. you know, when you break it all down, so yeah, I and it was easy. I would definitely do it again. I think, like I said, I would either do fewer people or a bigger RV mm-hmm. or multiple RVs. Um, or, or even to have an RV and, a uh, somebody in a tent or something or some, you know, where there was a little bit more room just, mm-hmm. just because it was so crowded to sleep. Yeah. Oh, that see, was... I didn't feel like the sleeping part was crowded. It was just the, well, getting ready for bed. Well, that, yeah. Or like, but I, I was crowded. Needs to go I to was bathroom. crowded in well, that. Because you it was were short. also crowded because your sleeping place was the table. So you had yeah. to make your bed. Yes. And well, you ended up not making you ended up making your bed and not turning it back into right. a table. Um we just decided to eat outside at the picnic table, right. which was fine because I Because there wasn't think five spaces. There's not enough that, room for all of us. Well, to that eat was at the that other table. thing yeah. that that it's supposed to seat five people. But it does not seat five people at the dinette. To eat, yeah. Yes. In fact, it would only seat two adults and two children. Mm-hmm. And where does the fifth person go? Yeah. So I I was very disappointed in that aspect of it. So Yeah. I would say if I was going to give someone tips, um, I would also say... Pack your things in small bags instead of, like, one big bag. Yes. Because your stuff's kind of going to get, like, spread out. And uh, you're going to find, like, different places where you might want to store your things. Yeah, there are a lot of So that it's convenient. Like, you're going to want to put, like, your clothes and stuff in one part of the RV. And the things that you want to do for activities in a different part. See, yeah, um, I had two big bags, so it was really hard for yeah. me to Oh, and no bags with wheels. Bag. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because I always take my rolly suitcase with me everywhere I go. And I thought, oh, I'll just pack mine and Raina's stuff in the rolly suitcase. And because I have seen RVs where you lift up the mattress and there's like that whole storage part under there. Storage, yes. But I think I've only seen that in the RVs where you can walk around the bed. Right. And uh, not the one that we had because where our bed was, the that was the, that outside, was the outside under storage. storage. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want my clothes out there. So I decided not to do the rolly suitcase. I'm really glad. Yeah, that seriously. I didn't pack my stuff in a rolly suitcase. Uh, Amber has like a activity, like her work bag or whatever, her craft bag is a rolly bag. And so we put it in the closet. <laughs> and, but it has multi-directional wheels. And every time my mom would turn a sharp corner, the, the closet, closet door, door would, would open. Fly open. open. And I was like, oh my God, that rolling suitcase is going to fall out of the closet it's gonna roll down the hallway and of the rv roll over the dog <laughs> and Poor crash like my everything dog. bag i put like everything in it and i wasn't i was gonna bring my big suitcase and i was like i remembered our glamping last summer when we went to marfa mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. having to drag that rolling suitcase oh, over the dirt, uh, and, oh, rocks. Yeah. dirt and rocks and everything i'm like i'm not gonna do that so I brought my duffel bag this time, but even then the duffel bag was kind of big to go in the overhead yeah. compartment. Yeah, my bag, I barely got it. Uh, I used oh, my yeah. gym bag, and it was like I was pushing yeah. on it to get it to And fit. Ashley and Raina and I had ours in the overhead bed area. Yeah, so, which um, some other people might have stored like food or other right. things up there. Yeah. Um. I, I'd also say check uh, or double check. We we lucked out in that Kristen 
keeps a water hose in her camping gear. And so she brought her camp kitchen. She has a big tub tote that has all of her camp kitchen in it, her plates and seasonings and pans and stuff. And she kept a, a, a spare water hose in there for when they camp because we hooked up our water, the water hose that came with the camper, the mm-hmm. trailer, or the, I call it a trailer, the RV. And uh, it had a hole and it was spewing water. Mm-hmm. And so if we had not had that second water hose, we would not yeah. have had water and hookups. Mine was actually an RV water hose. Mm-hmm. It has a yeah. little bit different spout yeah on one end oh yeah yeah i think no it was the same they're oh, the same they're i don't just, know it was yeah. an rv hose because i i had gotten it for our rv trip that oh, travis and i right. were going to take that we didn't mm-hmm. because i didn't know if the rv we rented actually came with all that stuff and i thought we were gonna have to buy all of that stuff so i was just like slowly stocking up and so i bought that hose and then I just, every time we go camping, because there's, I always camp in an RV parking spot or right. camping spot because I like the water and the electricity. Right. Um, when we camp, so you don't have to hike a really long ways. So I always just take the hose with me because you never know. I, I was going to ask you who, because um, when you, for your honeymoon, you were mm-hmm. going to rent mm-hmm. a, mm-hmm. an RV and then it, it wound up not working out uh, yeah. you should i would like you to tell us about oh, who yeah. you rented so, it from yeah, how let me that tell you came about, about. that because i don't want to do business with them again yeah. and that was one of the reasons i went with cruise america yeah, because, and i'm so glad yeah. you did and i because I, I didn't even i'd never heard of cruise america so it's called outdoorsy and i think it's more of like airbnb instead mm-hmm. of like staying at right. a hotel cruise america to me was like Cruise America is like renting a heart, a Hertz rent a car. Yeah, yeah, it's and a they're corporation, all like and they're all over. They're, yes. yes, so I felt like you guys got like a very standardized like product. Right, outdoorsy is people who have RVs and they loan them out like an Airbnb. Right, and so uh, my father in law had uh, made an order for us. For our honeymoon, that was what we were going to do because it was during COVID. So we were just going to go, you know, cruise around. And um, literally that Friday before our wedding. On the, a Saturday. The man. Your wedding was on Saturday, right? Oh, yeah, it was. It was a yeah. Friday before. And so the uh, person that we were renting from said that we would not be able to get it because we we're supposed to have it Sunday morning. And he said it was not available because um, someone trashed it. I don't know. And then he said he was going to, oh, it needed service. Yeah. And then, so then he went and took it to get it serviced. And then he said, oh, yeah, somebody trashed it. I don't know. And then it was like a, a long story that just didn't, it didn't make sense. Like all of a sudden, like this RV is not available. And so then um, Outdoorsy. You know, we're like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? So my father-in-law calls them, and they're like, oh, we'll take good care of you. We'll find you another one. Well, they found us another RV, and that one fell through, too. And it was just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with you guys because I felt like they weren't. It wasn't trustworthy. It really wasn't because there was no actual guarantee. Because yeah. outdoorsy is just the conduit to make sure that you get yeah. the money transferred, and the other person is the one that it's like makes Etsy, sure... buy, like buying something on Etsy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, there's all no these guarantee of product right. or the level of service that you get. Like I'm sure they have standards they're supposed to uphold, but even outdoorsy couldn't control whether or not we actually got in an RV. So I was like, I don't want to like come to like the moment where i'm supposed to show up in the parking lot to trade rvs and Mm -hmm. they don't show up so we were just like forget it we'll just drive our car and we're still gonna go to part of our trip so we ended up just getting in our car and driving to colorado which was one of the destinations in our rv we were gonna go on and my husband found a beautiful um hotel on the way you know and we had a fantastic honeymoon it was perfect and 
I still have a credit with Outdoorsy because I just I yeah. was like I don't know. Like it's a lot of money. I, like he put a lot of money. It made me very nervous. It, yeah. it made they, me very nervous about um, running the RV. They didn't reimburse him. Nope. They won't what? give us the money back. We we can only use it to rent an RV. And <clears throat> I'm sure whenever I talked to him, he was like, "Oh, you guys rented an RV." He was probably thinking, "Why didn't you use the credits?" You know. But I'm just like, I don't want to use those right. credits because i don't want to go with that company i don't yeah. want to plan a trip and buy the groceries and round up the people and get a rv camping spot at a and then have it fall through again and right then yeah. get a crappy camper right you know yeah because there's no quality control mm-hmm. on the on the kind of camper you get whereas because yeah, those the, guys didn't have like maintenance they were having to take their rv to get it to, to get it maintained yeah. yeah and uh and they don't have a replacement so so if he rented it out and somebody brought it back trashed he's he couldn't help he couldn't give you that yeah. RV if it was screwed up by the previous renter. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's the difference between using like a, a Cruise America because they're a they are a fleet of identical yeah. RVs. So they can get another RV from another uh source, another Cruise yeah, America. It's literally like using a U-Haul. Right. Yeah. Yes. And so so you can get one from somewhere else brought to you and, you know, if that one's not available or whatever, or they can send you to a different dealer, renter, central, rental center um, <laughs> to get, you know, one. Yeah. So, so I, it's a little more trustworthy to me. And, and like I said, they're all identical. They have, if you get the 25 foot class B, mm-hmm. Or they all look class the same. C RV. Yeah. It's all exact. They're all exactly the and same. And that was the thing that we found with Outdoorsy is because there's just like all these different RVs. So like right. every single one of them that you looked at was just completely different. It right. was really hard to narrow down. Like I mean, it was possible you could say, well, I only want a van, or I only want a class C, or I want a trailer, or you know, because they had all of those. Right. You could tell it like specifically what type you want and how many people it slept and what their mm-hmm. rules were, but you're also looking at like, well, I live in this area, but what if I'm 50 miles over here, there's different RVs available. Right. Some of them are already taken, you know. So I feel like there's definitely limited resource when it comes to outdoorsy as uh-huh. well because it's just who has right. RVs. Right, right. I did like uh, one thing I want to talk about because we're talking about class C's and, and class V's mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So um, there's different distinctions of uh, different kinds of RVs. And we're um, the ones I'm talking about mainly are the, the drivable kind. So what we had was what they call a class C. It was a 25 foot. You, you know, it has van doors and you can get in there and drive, but you can also put it in park and walk back to the bathroom and use the bathroom. And, um, you know, it's all contained in one vehicle. And that was the smaller, or it was a smaller version of them. The Class A's are the large versions of those. Um, they're, they're very often like a, what you would call a motorhome, uh-huh. a tour bus, something like that. Those are the Class A's. They're really big. Um, Class A's and Class B's often have pop-outs, um, the one we had did not, but a lot of them will have, um, you know, you drive down the road and then when you get to camp, you stop and you just crank out these little things and, and it just pops out and expands the size of your RV with this pop out. So your dining area might get wider or the bed area might get wider or something like that. And, um, those are all nice and, and they have a wide variety of features. Some of them are come equipped with washers and dryers and uh full-size bathtubs and you know all kinds of things like that so um they're you know in the rental ones they're they're going to be more scaled down to simple versions but the the ones you buy or whatever they they can have all kinds of amenities on them and then there's the class b which you would think would be between the c and the the a size but it's actually the class B's are the vans. 
So uh, those are the ones that are just, uh, a, they're really small, but it's a van and it usually has a bed. It sleeps too. Um, it may or may not have a restroom on it. Um, usually they have a small kitchen, you know, at least a small refrigerator and a stove or something. And, um, and they're really small, but it's just like driving a van, but you can stand up in it. So, uh, they'll usually have a bigger header mm -hmm. over the top of it. And then, um, once you get out of those, you get into like the, the tag alongs. Um, so you have like a fifth wheel, which is the kind that, that's what it's called. Yeah. That fifth attaches wheel. to fifth the wheel. back of your inside the bed of your pickup truck. Mm -hmm. So a fifth wheel is, um, it has a special gooseneck type hookup that hooks up to a special hitch inside the bed of your pickup. And, uh, those are usually really large trailers. And then there are, um, the regular trailers that hook up to your regular tow, tow, yeah, tow trailer to, to your tow hitch. And, and there's all different sizes of those. So there's everything from a 26 foot trailer or whatever down to what they call the little teardrops, which are usually nothing more than a I bed. Love those. I know they're really cute. You can crawl into it those. and, uh, and sleep. And sometimes they have like the kitchen is outdoors. So mm -hmm. at the back of the trailer where it gets really narrow, you flip up a little hatch and there's your, your table cooktop and, stuff, and yeah. stuff like that. So, um, so there's all, you know, all kinds of, of thing. And then there's like the pop-up trailers or the pop-up campers that are like, it looks like a little box, mm -hmm. uh, trailer like that you too. pull and you, when you get where you're going, you crank it up and it, a tent pops up out of the top of it. And there's all kinds of those. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a hard, hard top, but the sides of it is like tent ish. And, um, and so then, so it's like, uh, there's, and there's all different kinds of those too, because, uh, my parents used to, uh, run a company where they built, um, single little, uh, the, the ones that you're used to seeing are kind of mushroom safe, I guess, you know, it's like a, it's like what it's like an anchor. Yeah. Like an upside down, upside down anchor. So the, the beds stick out. And there's nothing underneath the beds. And then there's a box. Not anchor, an anvil. An anvil. Oh, you're, yeah. You're okay. seeing what I saw, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not well, an, anchor. Anchor, an anchor does that too. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, they that's the kind. They usually have a bed on one end and a bed on the other end. And then the sitting and cooking areas in the middle. Uh, the ones that my parents built were uh, made to be towed behind motorcycles and it was the size of a small motorcycle trailer and it cranked up and it made, uh, the bed popped up and went out to the side. And so the bed was cantilevered over that open space, but then you had an area where you could stand and change clothes and, and whatever as well. So, um, and they, they made those. And then there's also, um, there's some kind that go on the top of your vehicle uh, like on the top of your uh, van or something like that, and they have a ladder. And when you get where you're ready to camp, it you crank that out, and it makes a big tent cabin thing on the top of your vehicle. Didn't, Did, didn't there, they used to make some on pickup trucks? Oh, yeah, there's they, those as well that yeah. go on the back of your, your bed of your pickup truck. Yeah. Um, and there, I don't know if you noticed that the campsite uh, – across from the restrooms there at uh, Bisher State Park, they had um, one of the ones I was talking about that goes, but they had it on a trailer or something. Hmm. And then it uh, it popped out and made a tent. Hmm. So they had like this big platform trailer thing that collapsed down. And then when they popped it up, their tent was up off the ground. Hmm. And uh, it, there's some really interesting ones. So... Now, I kind of want to go to one of those RV shows. I know. Wouldn't that be fun? And I think we need to do that. just go inside of them and just look at them. Mm -hmm. All the different possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> They're so expensive, though. They are. They really, it was, I, one of the reasons I wanted to rent one was because I was toying with the idea of buying an RV um, so that the dog and I could go 
camping whenever we want. You know, we could just hop in the hop in the RV and go somewhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I was thinking about that, but then I started looking at the prices of of that, and they're just so expensive. Um, you know, like the one we drove. How much does that cost? Ooh, that one would <laughs> probably be eighty thousand dollars or more. Oh wow! Yeah, really? Yeah, they're really high. Um, yeah, the little teardrop ones, if you get them brand new, are about twenty. Yeah, with nothing on them. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have wow. to get like a Facebook Marketplace, like um, you know, good deal. Somebody you know selling it yeah. or financing buy, buy it. Buy a used one. Yeah. Like a buy a used one finance. And I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't done the renting a a tag along yet either. So, um, you know, I haven't towed a a trailer before so i think i would want to do a rental of that yeah before you committed before to i committed one. to buying one um as well and so maybe that's our next trip in the you know next time we go do camping is to go rent like a pop-up camper mm-hmm. or something and or a teardrop and see if we like that i don't know um do those have air conditioning Probably not. That was yeah. my luck. I don't. Really well, the pop like up the, the camp, the pop up tents, dude. Plus side, huh? To, that was the. I want to say that camping. they do. Yeah, I think I'm pretty like, sure the pop up campers like a, have have. Yeah, because they have that little box on, top, yeah. on the top of them. Yeah. So to me, like that was because it was so hot. Well, we the were camping at the wrong time of year. I know, too. but still, like even. When it's not ideal, sometimes it's hot in October and April. This is true. The air conditioning, not is to be a, a princess, but it was really nice yeah. to have the air conditioning. Yeah. And it was really nice to stand up yes, and get dressed because yes. you can't do that in the tent. Yes. Well, my tent, you can't. My tent's really small tent. Yeah. So well, you can't I, really my stand pro- up and get My dressed. issue with tent, and I love tent camping. Don't get me Sleeping wrong. Sleeping on the ground. It, it's it's not even sleeping on the ground. I can sleep on the ground just fine because I have air mattresses and, you know, I, I can do that. It's the getting up and down off From the ground the mattress, because yeah. I'm pushing 60 years old and I have bad knees and a yeah. bad back and yeah. bad hips. And, you know, I've, I've just, my body is broken down. So you last know. time that we went camping... Um, was, you know, dad was like, I can't sleep. So y'all left. Right. And we that were was like, October we're of 22. Yeah. We were, yeah. we were like, we're staying. And we hit a lightning storm. Yeah. And that is frightening. And as That well. was terrifying. Yes. It was terrifying. And you had your dogs with you, right? No. You didn't have your dogs? Not on that one. Oh, no. no Sophie Sophie was with us, and we yeah. went home, and I'm yeah. so glad we weren't there. Yeah, because it would have traumatized her. No, we didn't yes. have our dogs with us, but it was terrifying because we were just sleeping in this open field because we had this weird camping spot where we were just, like, on the edge where there's this big opening, and we were just, like, this lone tent, so the, our tent was the highest thing. Yes. <laughs> it, yes. And... My husband is just snoring away. My kid could care less. And I'm just like petrified that we're going to get struck by lightning, which I guess there's nothing you could do except get out and walk to the bathroom, which also seems dangerous. And so I just laid there like in, you know, fear that I was going to get electrocuted. It was terrifying. Yeah. And it would have been a nice comfort to have been in the RV. Right. At least and feel a little bit of protection. Well, and if we had been in the RV, dad probably could have slept a little better. Yeah. We had, we had, uh, we were tent camping. Um, and we had our air mattress went down in the middle of the night. And that was when, um, Mark's the, the tumors in his bones were really starting to, uh, get bad and and so he had a hard time getting comfortable in a bed any kind of bed um and camping was you know, we tried it for one night and then we knew the storm was coming and the dog would be miserable 
and he was already miserable. So we just decided we stayed until dark, and then we drove back home. So we we really only missed that the night sleep, the sleeping in the morning. In part, the morning, yeah. yeah so. Um, so we really didn't miss anything, but oh, it was, it was raining I'm glad we missed we that storm. Up. Yeah. It was raining the whole time. Yeah. So that was kind of miserable. I mean, I've, I've camped in some weather. Oh yeah. I Lots mean, of I've, times. I've had, I've camped below freezing. Yeah. In a tent. So, yeah. and I, I survived. I was good. That didn't bother me as much as the lightning. That was probably the That's scariest scary. thing besides yeah. my mom's driving in the RV. <laughs> oh. that so i i'm i, I I'm keep telling the you car. the back Your the back is the fine. worst the back was the worst the so. back is the worst because it bounces and it moves more it, it does it does it goes back and forth it was it, really hot and it I was, was hot. anxious yeah and it's like i was sitting in the backwards seat the first time so i was watching all our things bouncing and shaking <laughs> and it was loud and it then, was. The, I, I will say the RV seats. was really loud. Yeah, we swapped seats with Raina, so then I was sitting in the sideways seat, and it just wasn't like you couldn't really recline. I right. guess my it was very idea upright. of sitting in, and maybe that was just because that was like a really low scaled RV. It wasn't like very luxurious. Right. It wasn't. Cam- it, was it wasn't. Not luxurious. It wasn't cam- uh, captain's seats or anything yeah, like that it was, yeah it was very uncomfortable in the back like you needed like extra pillows to be able to prop your head up or something i ended yeah. up like having to lay kind of lean over the um the table table mm. to feel comfortable yeah yeah because it was yeah. a straight up and down bench seat with no no neck or back support at all yeah also like you can't have anything to drink back there there's no so cup holders there's right. no cup holders you have yeah. to like hug your drink the whole time yeah yeah we thought we thought about that after to maybe find some way to have some some kind of cup holders to yeah to hold on to be... your drink yeah so that would be a good one so um would you do it again I, yeah, I, said yes. I think I would. Yeah, I, I think too. I would. Would you, I would. Amber? I, I would yeah, change I would. a few things. Yeah. yeah, I remember you were laying in the bed like the first night or the second night, and you were like, this is so bad. She said, I still want to be an RVer. And I was like, that's really good. Because yeah. despite, I you know, the rough ride and the fact that it was hot. RVs, and yes, they do have air conditioning. I looked it up. She just <laughs> looked it up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do want one of yeah. those little, and you, you know, little kitchen thing in the back. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I don't even care about the kitchen. SUV. The kitchen is irrelevant to me. The things that I like two persons. I, like I camp really want cooking, anyways. Yeah, yeah. I like camp cooking. I want. I like having a restroom because I might wake up in the middle of the night and I don't want to have to get dressed and walk to the bathroom. <laughs> Although having that handicapped um, RV spot was. Not too bad. It was still a hike, a little bit of a hike to the bathroom, mm-hmm. but it was not too bad. Um, so I would definitely do that. Um, and we were we were fortunate. We had handicap placard, you know, that we could do that. So, um, but the, and the air conditioning. But I think if the weather was nice, you wouldn't even need that. You could just yeah. open the windows or whatever. So to me, the the restroom and being off the ground. Where I don't have to get down on the ground and get back up again. That's that was the key for me. Well, I know I like I really like now I'd love a teardrop, but I really want to retire me and too. be a camper person. Oh, That's d- like do the class A dream. or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, live in the camper. I have a, a cousin whose mom does that. So, um, well, that, I guess her mom are, is my cousin too. But yeah. <laughs> Those are but, uh, retirement yeah. goals, like um, and yeah. the couple that was across from us that they probably I think they were like retired, yeah, military, mm-hmm. so. yes, yeah, or like the the camp hosts that we met, you know, they live in their RV at the yeah at the campsite. Yeah, that's, that's retirement in the summer. Yeah, that's what they do. So, um, age goals. Yeah, I I would like to do that too. So, I think that'd be a lot of fun. 
Well, um, what are we talking about next week? Oh, I'm the hostess, and we are know. What doing... What are you talking about? I am talking about. So I am a travel agent, as you know, um, or maybe you don't know. Uh, we've talked about it before, but when I first went on a cruise, I had some expectations because of watching the love boat. And so we're going to talk about how actual cruising is different from the love boat. And I think you'll be surprised. What even is like a modern love boat that Krista and I could like go off of? The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody? <laughs> uh, uh, is that the ones where they live in the hotel? On like a... Well, there's sweet there life is a, on deck, there is so it's a, like a hotel. There is a boat. modern love boat. Ah, um, I'll have to look it up. It's uh, it's Princess Cruise Lines. Um, they actually did a series, and I can't remember who who the hostesses were, host and hostess. But um, I'll have that on the next episode. I'll let you know. So um, that's it. We're going to talk about the love boat. All right. And um, if you have any RV questions, I don't know that I can answer them, but I can try. Um, or if you have any RV tips or suggestions for us for what to try next or anything like that, uh, hit us up on MMC Chat, which you can get to from either our website, modernmusings.net, or you can get there from our Facebook page, Modern Musings. And uh, the chat, the MMC chat is a free-for-all chat for all of our listeners and readers to come in and continue that conversation. Uh, so you can start, a, start up a dialogue, ask a question, whatever. Uh, it's, it's there for everybody to use. And we hope we'll hear from you on there. And until then... We hope you have a great week, and we'll be back next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.